What is up you beautiful farmers, it's your boy Carl, welcome back to the channel. Today I am with my friends, the lovely Paul and Linda, and we are shearing their sheep. Um, Paul and Linda very nicely allowed me to do a vlog while shearing, and um, I thought this would be an interesting one because we've got some different breeds today. So what are these Linda? These are North Ronald's A. North Ronsey, and we've got the boys. He's not a North Ronsey either. Oh, no. Yeah, so we've got a mixture. So the flock is a mixture of of yeah. Hampshire Downs and North Ronsey. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So these are the rams. So Hampshire Down is a big solid sheep, and this boy is for sale too. Actually, what's his name? What's his name? Jack. Jack. Jack is for sale. Um, he's four is he or five. Rising five. Oh, yeah, he's a, he's a lump for sheep. So anyone interested in Hampshire down ram, um, Jack is your boy. And then we've got the North Romsey tips here. And um, yeah, they're a hardy looking wee boys, but they're not the biggest. These are then the main flock of Hampshire down cross sheep, which have been mostly off Jack. And there was a couple other rams too, wasn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then this is the North Ronsey bunch of ewes. Very good. What are North Ronsey's bred for? Because obviously uh, they wouldn't be, well, like, they're not a big meat sheep, like, no, so. But yeah. they are a delicacy, so. Um, oh, right. They're, particularly from their own habitat in, in North Ronsey, uh, they live on seaweed. Uh, they live on the shores um, of North Ronsey, which is one of the farthest Orkney Islands. Oh right, and, oh, Orkney um, Islands, I've heard of them. There's a wall there that pre um, that prevents them to go from going inland and yeah. mixing with the other sheep. So they're absolutely purebred and have been for the last 2,000 That's years. That's brilliant. And the meat is gorgeous. It well, is. the meat that comes from North Ronsey, mm. I believe they send it off down to places like London and, and top yeah. class restaurants. And it has quite a particular flavour because of the seaweed they eat. Yeah, yeah. As I say, no head banging. <laughs> Yeah. No fighting allowed, right? No, no fighting. We've already had a bump on there. Don't want them going right, do we? Come on. Wrong way, guys. Wrong way. Come on, right. Go on, right. Go on. Come on, right. Wait, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lovely stuff. End the net. Any of them ever picked a fight with Jack? No. Oh, no. Yeah. Do they, yeah? yeah? Oh, yeah. There's a couple of weight classes above them. <laughs> yeah. But the other one got one. We started off shearing the rams. I was told at a shearing course before that you shouldn't shear the rams at the end because you'll be tired. And you shouldn't shear them in the beginning because you're not warmed up. But I figured with these boys being smaller and lighter than the average ram, I could break that rule without any dire consequences. They're not too bad for shearing. The comb goes through the wool relatively easily. They are cotty though, meaning that the fleece is tough to break open. This is more apparent in the parts of the sheep where you have to break the fleece, for example when shearing up the neck. The horns on these rams are also quite an obstacle and it took me time to navigate them. They have huge horns for the little size of them and they simply get in the way when shearing around the head and neck. The North Ronaldsey are one of the smallest breeds in the world, well certainly the smallest I've ever shown. A Google search about the topic didn't give me much info. If you know what the smallest sheep breed in the world is and any info about them, leave a comment below. They're a hardy little breed, the North Ramsey. These sheep aren't young. They're part of the original flock that Linda and Paul brought over from England when they first moved over in 2015, and they're still going strong. Paul and Linda were born and raised in England, but Paul's mother is Irish and was raised here on this very farm. She often talked about Ireland and her experiences growing up, 
So much so that Paul and Linda eventually moved back here in 2015 and acquired the very same farm. When the Ronnie Rams were all shorn, it was time to bite the bullet and pull out Big Jack the Hampshire down. It took me a while to shear him, so I said I'd speed it up for you. When I had him shorn and he was already on his bum, I held him for Linda to quickly trim his feet. I don't do this normally, but I wasn't under pressure that day and Linda was very kind to let me do a video in the first place. I'd like to repeat, I don't do this normally, just in case my other shearing customers watching this start getting any ideas. Right, so we move them out. This way, Hello, boys. Hello. They don't seem to be scrapping anyway. Not yet. Don't need to get Casey out, do I? How are ya? How are ya? Got the main new flock in eventually. They were as awkward as sows, but they're in now. We've been coming over for a few years and obviously we, we discovered this is where um, Paul's family lived and um, and we obviously realised it was derelict and it was, it was had been unlived in for a long many years yeah. and um, we were you I, left it you were you left this place were you or no, had you to buy no, it no, no. you had to buy it yeah we had just to buy found, it. came back and found the house yeah. and yeah. said you you wanted yeah. a yeah oh nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we, we, we didn't know who owned it, so we, we kind of put notices in the on the gate and we put um, a card up in the local church. And yeah. anyway, eventually, after a number of visits, um, somebody rang us up. We got home and we had a phone call. Mm. And this chap said, um, well, I think you might be looking for me. And it was a real operation transformation because when I, when I first came here, it was 2016, I came here this year. And like he, he was just was very fresh in here, and there was the place was kind of derelict, wasn't it? it was very run down, like, completely and, derelict. Yeah, very. yeah. You had we, a big job ahead of you that time. Oh. We certainly did. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we we rented initially um, yeah. in a, a little village about six miles from here, so we mm. were commuting back and forth to the farm. Yeah. And it was um, a lot of work. It was a lot of work. It's yeah. been a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> it's been quite a journey. Yeah. 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 We're getting there. You'd hard work. To, so you brought your sheep over from England then. Yes. Yeah. That was hard work to get them over. Yes. Yeah. Lots of paperwork. Yeah. Lots of paperwork. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, we had to, uh, they had to have blood tests and... Um, was it anything to do with the fact that they're a rare breed or anything? Or is it just, it is that just really them. awkward? It was yeah. actually all, all sheep. Mm. Yeah. Um, we had to have, they all virtually all had to have a passport, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And um, even the, um, um, the rams had to have a special blood test done as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think there were three different um, con um, diseases that they had to be tested for mm -hmm. before we could. And then we had Straight to get here. a vet to sign it off. Um, and then we were given permission to bring them. To bring them. How long did it end up taking? Oh, gosh, I expect it was a, a good part of a year. Yeah. 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 Jesus, yeah. It's a good part of a year. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, we made a mistake, we, we kind of made a mistake with, with the, with the North Ronalds A. There was something else that was needed for the North Ronalds A, which mm. we missed. And so mm. we couldn't bring them when we planned. All right. Yeah. So that ended up being delayed further yeah, then. That, that was delayed further. for another yeah. six months. Yeah. 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 Oh. 
So you're doing, trying to sort all that and then you're just trying to figure out where to go. Well, this place. We, we, were very, <laughs> yeah. we were very naive very. and we thought it would be, we just thought, oh, that's great. We'll, <laughs> we'll have a farm, we'll have somewhere to put the sheep. Yeah. <laughs> it, it sounds so easy when it's here. Yeah. It wasn't that simple. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think a lot of... If you're, st- I think a lot of people go into any undertaking when they're starting off something. A lot of the time, if you realise how much it was going to take, work it was going to take at the start, you probably wouldn't have even went into it at all. But it's so it's pretty we, must be pretty satisfying though. Like, oh like yeah. I've shots of the house and the place now, and every year I came back to like I was just trying to improve and bit by bit, and it's an amazing spot now. Yeah, and yeah. we're very proud of it. Yeah, very, yeah. very. It's yeah. a credit to you. Yeah. We, we've Not still got credit. things. We've still got a list of things to do. Lots of things to do. Yeah. yeah. But um, no, we're very proud of what we've achieved. Let's take a deep yeah. breath and cup of tea and just realise yeah. we're lots very of humble. Lots, <laughs> lots, <laughs> lots of tea. Lots of tea. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Lots of tea, yeah. Well, thanks for having me up and thanks yeah, for letting me do Oh, no, we're, yeah. we're very grateful that you come up yeah. every year yeah. <laughs> to yeah. share these And we we'll look forward to seeing you again. Yes, brilliant. Until the next time.